watch this it is a problem again on uh, you know both token ring and ethernet they wanted to compare both of them the parameters they are given is a heavily loaded a very heavily loaded one kilometer long which means they are saying that the distance of the LAN is one kilometer uh, and 10 mbps is the bandwidth token ring is used and has a propagation speed propagation speed is given as meters per microsecond so whenever they are you know please look at the units all the time the speed has to be always meters per second but then uh, sometimes they'll give it in a different uh, different different uh, this uh, units they are saying that it is meters per microsecond so how to convert it into meters per second just take that micro to the you know uh, numerator then you see that it is 2 into 10 power 8 meters per second okay and 50 stations which means number of stations they are talking about is 50 stations are uniformly spaced around the ring so they are placing 50 stations and data frames are 256 bytes which means length of the packet is 256 that is what they are given including 32 bytes of overhead so the overhead uh, present is 32 bytes which is nothing but header so header sorry 32 bits so header size is 32 bits acknowledgements are piggybacked onto the data uh, data frames which means acknowledgements are used in ANC available and copied they are already piggybacked and those are included as a sparse bits uh, within the data frames which means they are saying that there is no overhead because of the acknowledgements or they are saying that there are no acknowledgements right i mean the meaning of piggy bank acknowledgements is nothing is wasted because of acknowledgements okay and are effectively free the to the token is 8 bits they are saying that the uh, token frame which is used is 8 bits but the standard token is 24 bits this is a implementation dependent in this implementation they are using a token of 8 bits but remember that in our standard uh, you know token ring it is 24 bits which is 3 bytes is the effective data rate of the uh, ring higher or lower than the effective data rate of 10 mbps csma cd network which means they wanted to compare token ring and ethernet that is what uh, one one interesting thing is this entire data is not required to compare ethernet and token ring so what they wanted to say is which one is giving better efficiency either token ring or ethernet actually you need not do all this entire question you need not do any numericals for this you can directly look at the formulas and you can answer them right so efficiency of csms cd or ethernet is i told you that it is 1 by 1 plus 6.44 a right but one thing that you should keep in mind is when i was deriving this efficiency of csms cd I assume that number of stations n is close to infinity that is what I assumed if you remember the derivation of the efficiency of uh, CSMSCD I assume that the number of uh, the efficiency is calculated based on the assumption that number of stations are infinity but then uh, what is the efficiency of token ring so token ring has two strategies early token reinsertion efficiency is 1 upon 1 plus a by n but here n is still taken so we cannot compare these two unless we again make an assumption that n is infinity otherwise it is very difficult see uh, the reason why we should be doing this is in the efficiency calculation of ethernet i assume that number of stations are infinity you please refer to that video and now in the efficiency of token ring early token ring early to token insertion uh, efficiency is 1 upon 1 plus a by n but how to compare these two unless unless you make this n, n tends to infinity we cannot com compare these two therefore in order to compare them i am just normalizing which means i am just get, getting them to the equal plane and then combining them comparing them so limit number of stations tends to infinity efficiency of token ring in early token reinsertion is 1 upon 1 plus a by n limit n tends to infinity now what is this value if you put infinity here it is going to be 100 percent which means efficiency of ethernet is i mean efficiency of token ring in early token reinsertion is 100 percent and what about efficiency of token ring in delay token reinsertion it is actually 1 upon 1 plus a into 1 plus 1 by n right and limit n tends to infinity efficiency of token ring in delayed token reinsertion is 
limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 1 plus a into 1 plus 1 by n. So, this entire factor goes to 0. Therefore, it is going to be 1 upon 1 by a. Right? So, either it is early token reinsertion. In early token reinsertion, efficiency is 100%. In delayed token reinsertion, efficiency is 1 upon 1 plus a. Both the cases or both the in both the cases, we get the efficiency of token ring to be very very higher compared to the efficiency of Ethernet. So, you need not solve this entire question to answer this. Any point at any point of time, always token ring will have higher efficiency compared to CSMSCD or Ethernet. But CSMSCD is the most widely used LAN in the world. What could be the reason? The reason is it is very easy to implement uh, or it is very easy to use uh, CSMSCD networks compared to token ring networks. Okay. So anyway, you need you do you need not solve this entire numerical to answer it. Okay.